Hello everyone, I've come forward today to talk about a very special topic. Seven letters concerning if not every one of us, most of us. Any guesses? Seems you'll be a little short of time on this one, so let me help you out. Success is the word we're searching for. So what is success? Success is an achievement of an action within a specific period of time. Or it is even the fact of getting or achieving fame, wealth or respect. Yet the business insider found this definition incomplete. Then why did I take it? Truly speaking, it's the first one I got. In fact, there are many types of success. Each one of them has this idea of achieving something. Yet we can find infinite number of ways of naming them. This is explained by the fact that each and every one of us on this planet has his or her own way of describing success according to the ages, domains, lifestyle and all the different characteristics that make up, that make up their environment and mindsets. Success does not limit itself to prestige and power, it can be so much more. For a baby performing his first step, that's called success. For a student passing his exam brilliantly, that's also called success. For what about love? Finding one's life partner is also called success. Going on and on with these examples would take me one lifetime or two. So, to be short, I would like to point out that success is present all around us in many different forms. I would so, how do you find it? No, 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 it's not about finding it. The already existing ones are superficial because these are the cases of the ones before us. What's the test of copy paste? We, you do not wait to be served the full plan with all the secrets. This, that's banal and has no sense of risk or adventure. Challenges make life interesting and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. Let's talk about some successful persons. We have Bill Gates, Jacob Rowling. We all did try in the intimacy of rooms the famous recording with Yosa. We have Walt Disney who has fascinated our childhood. We have Na Na Michael Jackson, Nelson Mandela, Usain Bolt and I love all those who dream to reach classes and time, all of them incredible figures indeed. And what distinguishes them, what makes them extraordinary is that they trace their own path, they take their own decisions freely and confidently. Who says they never encountered failure? Who says they never made any mistakes? Of course, they're humans, we're humans, we all do. But what makes them different is that they never give up. I would like to share with you those three words that I came up with on the net. Personal record, technical improvement, consistency. Someone seeing those three words for the first time will not get, guess that it's actually part of the fitness programs. But let, let's put this piece of info aside. Will, will these three words not really show the path to success? Adding weight to a bar would be similar to a city that would be more success While uh, not really, an athlete perfecting his technique before the Olympics would reflect our need to refine our way of doing and working out things and most importantly is not to, is to not forget our basic knowledge and improve our building on them as a football team knows that his defense is as important as his attack. Reaching the step of success does not only require succeed by believing your potential potential causes you to compels you to take the necessary actions to success. A positive attitude also allows you to see challenges as opportunities rather than threats. People with negative attitudes tend to think I can't so a doubt hence deprive and hindering themselves from looking forward and opening their eyes to great opportunities and to a great future. Success one thing everyone wants yet no one knows how. Or in fact, do we really know what it means? Is it about having fun, family, friends, money? About having spiritual enlightenment, internal contentment, just living in the moment, or all of, the, all of them? Come on, what am I doing here? I'm asking questions. This is what you should be doing to find your type of success and know where it lies. Prior to the research I made, it is recommended to adopt a positive attitude and invest us fully in whatever action you undertake. And that having a negative stance and filling our minds with misconceptions and distractions drifts us away from our goal. Come on, that's nonsense. It's, it may be partly true, but it's in the human nature to doubt. One who has never doubted on herself cannot talk about success because once you have doubted with yourself and you succeed you're twice as happier and you know that you should not have doubted with yourself you learn to self-motivate yourself you, you tell yourself if i have succeeded once then why not twice it's not about having positive ideas 
It's about acknowledging your capacities and exceeding your limits. Even if you do not succeed, you tell yourself that you did your best and believe you will not stop there. You tell yourself, even if you did your best, that you could have all the Stressing out and breaking down a problem because everyone has experienced at this part of their lives. After having experienced defeat, victorious days becomes exquisite. One who has this defeat experiences true and fulfilled success. That's called a winner. If success were so easy to achieve that everybody would be perfect and victory would be insignificant. In order to succeed, your desire for success should be much greater than your fear. On the last note, I would like to I would like to link success to happiness. Remember that you will not find happiness on reaching success, but if you find pleasure in doing something, if you like doing something, then you can tell yourself that you have success. Take me for example, it was a pleasure being out there sharing with you and that was a success for me.